just like Notorious B.I.G. said, more money, more problems. What about no money, no problems? Well, wouldn't that be nice? I'm Jamie Lennon, a local realtor, and today's video is all about sharing what activities you can do in San Diego that won't totally break the bank. And if you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in the greater San Diego region, know that you can reach out to me anytime, call, text, or email me. You will find all my contact information down below in the description. All right, because you're probably looking for your next week in adventure, or hey, maybe you are looking for something to do today. Regardless, I'm gonna run through these so you can carry on with your day knowing that you're gonna have a ton of fun and save a lot of money. All right, getting the obvious one out of the way, and that's heading to the beach. San Diego County has 70 miles of coastline and plenty of beaches to choose from. So pack a lunch, grab the kids, hey, grab the dogs. There are plenty of dog beaches in the county as well. And go have yourself a relaxing and fun day at the beach. And if you're feeling a little hot and you wanna take things off, you can go to Black's Beach, which is a nude beach. Obviously, this would be a kid-free day. Can't believe I have to say that, but I'm going to anyways. Even if you're not a baseball fan, it is still such a fun time hitting up Petco Park to see a Padres game. The season begins in March every year and you can snag tickets for as little as $23. Obviously things start adding up when you add in the cost for food and drinks, but if you wanna go the cheap route, you don't have to pay for any of that stuff. You can just get a ticket, grab a couple friends, grab your family and just enjoy being outdoors you don't even have to watch the game. You can just enjoy the view of the harbor because it's right there. And up until playoffs, tickets remain very affordable. And yeah, go Padres. Now the Rady Shell is a new addition that opened in San Diego in 2021 and it's right on the harbor. It has a beautiful water backdrop and it's an outdoor concert venue. So you can snag tickets here in lawn seating for as little as $35 or you can get in for free to watch the San Diego Symphony rehearse. Now of course Balboa Park is on our list because it's beautiful and it's iconic and they have free Tuesday. So every Tuesday there will be certain museums where you can get in for free and it rotates and it changes every week. So check those out. And another thing that's free is at the Oregon Pavilion. So this is another outdoor music venue that is located at the park. And every Sunday you can get in for free and you grab some food, some snacks, bottle of wine. I bring my pup, my friends bring their dogs and their kids and you just kind of have a picnic. You bring a big blanket like this or they're seating there as well, whichever you prefer and you can kind of post up for the afternoon and watch some live music. I would wager that this is the number one spot for tourists heading into San Diego, and that's because there's just so much to do and see here. One very popular destination is La Jolla Cove, where people go and they watch all the sea lions sunbathing. And then just south of the cove, you have Children's Pool, which you'll see a lot of seals at. You have the tide pools there. You have a really cool cave store, which does cost money. It's about 10 to $15, but you can walk down this cool cave and sometimes there'll be seals in this area as well. People will rent kayaks and go kayaking around here. You can go snorkeling. One popular thing people love to do is look at the leopard sharks because at certain times of the year, there are hundreds if not thousands of leopard sharks right there at the break. So snorkeling is really popular. Kayaking is really popular. Just a lot of marine life too. There's a lot of marine, active marine life there. So people will go scuba diving. It's a beautiful area, tons to do. You can spend an entire day in and around La Jolla Cove, just walking around and soaking in just the beauty of nature. Right above Black's Beach, we have the Torrey Pines Glider Port, which if you wanna go hang gliding, of course, that's gonna cost a pretty penny, but a lot of people, I would say most people, go up there to watch the hang gliders. There's a really cute cafe there with some food and some drinks, and you can just sit outside, enjoy some lunch, and watch all the hang gliders. It's really peaceful, because people are just sitting there floating through the air. So, really cool place to check out. But if you do wanna know the cost of hang gliding, well, of course hiking is on the list. There has got to be hundreds of hiking trails spread across the county. Some notable ones and ones that are unique and unique in the sense where you're not just walking the same old trail, but some trails that I do suggest would be going to Potato Chip Rock. You have Annie's Trail, Torrey Pines, and 
Cedar Creek Falls. And that's just to name a few. Probably one of my favorite places to go during the summer is Fiesta Island. And I would say that it's top of my list because I do have a pup and it's a very dog friendly area. And you can look at it as like a day camping spot. So your car can be parked right where you're setting up. Dogs are off leash. The water's calm, so it's almost like being at the river. You have people that will tie floaties up and just kind of float in the water all day. But look at it as a day camping spot. You go, you, people will bring their barbecues or whatever they're doing, but they will set up and have a full day being on the water. And plus, in the summertime, you get front row seats to the fireworks put on by SeaWorld. For anyone looking for the perfect viewpoint in San Diego, I recommend heading to Mount Soledad Veterans Memorial in La Jolla. This is where you're going to get a 360 degree view of everything. It's absolutely gorgeous when you're up there. Just remember, it's there to show respect and honor of our fallen soldiers. So take the time and appreciate why it exists in the first place. Something fun and different to do with the family is strawberry picking. And there are going to be plenty of farms to do this at, but two come to mind. And that's going to be Kenny's Farm located in Fallbrook and the Carlsbad Strawberry Company. You're gonna pay per basket and you just go and pick as many strawberries that fit in the basket. I will say when I went to Kenny's Farm in Fallbrook to film some content, it was a ton of families, lots of kids, and everybody seemed like they were just having the time of their life especially the kids. It was actually really nice to see when I was looking over, everybody was just so happy. You know, kids don't care if you're f digging for gold or picking strawberries. To them, there's no monetary value. It's just spending quality time doing something different, you know, thinking out of the box. And it's not that expensive. Well, there you go. My top suggestions of things to do in San Diego County that don't totally break the bank. I hope you enjoyed my list, but I'd also love to hear from you. If you are a resident, drop a comment. What are some things that you enjoy doing that are either free or that don't totally break the bank. And if you are looking to buy or sell real estate anywhere in the greater San Diego region, know that you can call, text, or email me anytime. All my contact information can be found down below because I'm gonna help you make a smooth move out to the best in the West. And I'm gonna leave you the same way I always do, friends. And that is to stay classy. San Diego.